हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईश्वरी तनिक्षा चैनल दिस इज योर ईश्वरी मैम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ट्रिक टू फाइंड डेंटिसिटी इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स सो फर्स्ट लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डेंटिसिटी सो डेंटिसिटी इज इट इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड्स फॉर्मड बाय द लिगेंड सो मीनिंग इज सपोज देयर इज अ सेंट्रल मेटल एटम एंड हियर यू हैव only one ligand so you have one ligand and this is the coordination bond so what is the dentacity here dentacity is one so another example there is a central metal atom and there are two ligands so this is one and this is second so here two coordination bonds are present so if two coordinate bonds are present density will be 2 so depending upon the number of coordinate bond being formed so here the density of the compound will differ so let us see different types of density in ligands so density if only one if only one coordinate bond is formed then we call that ligand as monodentate ligand mono dentate ligand suppose if two coordinate bonds are present then we call that ligand as bidentate ligand that is called as bidentate ligand and if three are present then it is called as tridentate ligand tridentate ligand and if four coordinate bonds are present then it is called as tetradentate ligand tetra dentate ligands and if five are there it is called as pentadentate ligand penta dentate penta dentate ligand and if six are present it is called as hexa dentate hexa dentate ligand and there is one more type which is called as flexi dentate flexi dentate ligand so meaning of flexi dentate is flexi is flexible that is it doesn't have a fixed uh, it doesn't form fixed coordination bond so it keeps varying so i'll take one example and i'll explain you in that what is flexi dentate ligand so now we have seen different types of ligands so let us take examples and try to understand so here this is the example for monodentate ligand so the first example is ammonia so ammonia you can write the formula like uh, structure like this n h h and hydrogen and here one lone pair of electron will be present so using this lone pair of electron it can form coordinate bond with central metal atom so which atom is forming nitrogen so nitrogen can form coordinate bond by using this lone pair of electrons so it can form only one bond that is why it is called as monodentate ligand so students here i will mention which is the donor atom so donor atom is donor atom is nitrogen so this you should remember in uh, question in neat exam they will ask how many donor atoms are there or which are the donor atoms so you should know which atom is forming coordinate bond and second example is water h2o so you can write the structure like this o hydrogen hydrogen oxygen has two lone pair of electrons one and two so here out of this two lone pair it will form 
coordinate bond using only one lone pair so using only one lone pair it will form coordinate bond so that is why it is called as monodentate ligand so and here the donor atom is through oxygen it is forming coordinate bond therefore donor atom will be oxygen donor atom is oxygen next example so co3 2 minus co3 2 minus is carbonate ion so this is carbonate ion so if you write the structure c double bond o o minus o minus so here using this oxygen it will form one coordinate bond and using this oxygen it will form another coordinate bond so two coordinate bonds are formed that is why it is a bidentate ligand so here donor atoms will be donor atoms will be two oxygen atoms so two oxygen atoms so this is oxygen atoms so next example so next example is c2o4 2 minus so c2o4 2 minus is nothing but oxalate ion oxalate ion so what is the short form for oxalate ion short form for oxalate ion is ox this also you should remember ox so now what is the structure for oxalate ion c double bond o o minus c double bond o o minus so now using this oxygen one coordinate bond and this oxygen will form one coordinate bond so two coordinate bonds therefore it is a bidentate ligand so which is the donor atom here donor atoms so donor atoms again here it will be two oxygen atoms atoms So next example, so this is the third example, ethylene diamine. So here ethylene diamine can be represented by the short form EN. So it can be represented as EN. So structure for this will be CH2, CH2, NH2 and NH2. So here nitrogen has lone pair of electrons and this nitrogen has lone pair of electron. So through nitrogen atom one coordination bond through another nitrogen atom one more coordination bond. So two coordinate bonds are formed so therefore this is a bidentate ligand ethylene diamine is a bidentate ligand so donor atom donor atoms two nitrogen atoms so two nitrogen atoms are donor atoms here next is dimethyl glyoximate dimethyl glyoximate short form we will write it as dmg dimethyl glyoximate so let us write the structure for this C, C, double bond N, O minus and here double bond N, OH, CH3 and CH3. So here through this oxygen atom one uh, coordinate bond and through this oxygen atom one coordinate bond. So now donor atoms are donor atoms are two oxygen so even this is an example for bidentate ligand next is acetyl acetonate ion 
So acetyl acetonoate ion, you can write, write short form as ACAC. -AC. This you should remember while naming the coordination compound. Usually in the structure, short forms will be given. So you should remember ACAC -AC is acetyl acet acetonate ion. So let us write the structure for this CH3 CO CH double bond CO minus. And here it is CH3. So here you can see this oxygen atom will form one coordinate bond and this oxygen atom will form one coordinate bond. So as a result it can form two coordinate bond. Therefore even this is a bidentate ligand. So now donor atoms are donor atoms are two oxygen atoms. Next example, examples for tridentate ligand. So first example for tridentate ligand will be diethylene triamine. So structure for this diethylene triamine is NH2, CH2, CH2, NH, CH2, CH2, NH2. So this is the structure and here you know that nitrogen will be having lone pair of electrons. So here this nitrogen will form one coordination bond. This nitrogen will form one and this nitrogen will form one. So how many coordinate bonds totally? One, two and three. So therefore it is called as a tridentate ligand. So donor atoms, donor atoms, how many donor atoms are there? 3 nitrogen 1 2 3 next example is for tetradentate ligand example is triethylene tetraamine so for this we will write the structure uh, formula nh2 ch2 ch2 nh ch2 ch2 nh ch2 ch2 nh2 so here nitrogen has one lone pair of electron. So here one coordinate bond, two coordinate bond, three and four. So nitrogen can form coordinate bond. So four coordinate bond will be formed. So as a result uh, it is called as tetradentate ligand. So donor atoms are four nitrogen atoms. Next is pentadentate ligand. Meaning of pentadentate ligand is it can form 5 coordinate bond. Ligand can form 5 coordinate bond. Example is ethylene diamine uh, triacetate. So we will write the formula for this. CH2 N CH2 COO minus CH2 COO minus CH2 N CH2 COO minus and hydrogen. So this is the structure for ethylene diamine triacetate. So here you can see nitrogen has lone pair, nitrogen has lone pair. So here one coordinate bond, second coordinate bond, oxygen third, this oxygen fourth, and this oxygen 5. So total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 coordinate bonds are formed. Therefore it is called as pentadentate ligand. So now let us write donor atoms. Donor atoms. So here 2 nitrogen and 3 oxygen. So 2 nitrogen and 3 oxygen are donor atoms here. So next is hexadentate ligand. So hexadentate ligand example is EDTA. So what is the formula for EDTA? It is ethylene diamine tetraacetate. So now let us write the structure for this 
सी हेच टू सी हेच टू एन सी हेच टू सी ओ ओ माइनस 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 सो वन लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑन नाइट्रोजन so one coordinate bond by one nitrogen second coordinate bond and oxygen will form third fourth and this oxygen five and this oxygen six so six coordinate bonds are formed therefore it is called as hexadentate ligand so which are the donor atoms present here donor atoms two nitrogen and 1 2 3 4 4 oxygen atoms next is fluxidentate ligand so fluxidentate ligand is sulfate ion so4 2 minus so here it doesn't have fixed density it meaning is it doesn't form one uh, one type of coordinate bond so here density is found to be 1 and 2 meaning is in some coordinate bond uh, compound it will form only one coordinate bond in some other it can form two coordinate bond so this number keeps changing therefore it is called as fluxidentate ligand example is sulfate ion so now students let us see one question so here you can see so here you can see 2001 need 2021 uh, question is being asked ethylene diamine tetraacetate that is edta ion is of op four options are given tridentate ligand with three nitrogen donor atoms hexadentate ligand with four oxygen and two nitrogen donor atoms unidentate ligand bidentate ligand with two nitrogen donor atoms so just now we saw it. it is hexadentate ligand so this is edta hexadentate ligand and you can see two nitrogen and four oxygen donor atoms so see your option b hexadentate ligand with four oxygen and two nitrogen donor atoms so this type of questions will come in neat examination so go through it uh, i think you understood the concept and it is very i uh, very easy to you to understand if you have any doubts and if you want to ask any question to me you can write in the comment box so i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye